This is Eric Savitz at Forbes. I'm at CES, where we're talking to Matt Rogers, who's the co-founder of Nest, who has uh, in his hands the second-generation Nest thermostat. Uh, Matt, tell us about the, the new thermostat. So this is a second generation Nest. Uh, it's 20% thinner and it's all stainless steel. So the previous generation was uh, a small stainless steel ring and a bunch of plastic behind it. Uh, this is all stainless steel. It feels really nice in the hands, really, really premium. Uh, we, we unified this whole face, so there's this really clean grill now where there used to be a metal grill where the sensors are. We clean that up. We also increased compatibility from about 75% to 95%. We added support for more homes. So almost anyone who has an old-fashioned thermostat with some plastic dials and knobs, uh, all that stuff, they can pull that out, replace it with a Nest thermostat. Exactly. Pretty much every home in the U.S. now, in, in Canada, uh, you know, Nest supports. Uh, if you have an old conventional thermostat, you could buy Nest. No, it, obviously, it, it's a beautiful-looking device. It looks like no other thermostat. Um, you've got big, bold uh, display, and um, and and at the same time, the question becomes. What can I do with this thermostat? I can control my heater with the old style. What can I do with a NAS that I can't do with an older style thermostat? So, one, you can control it remotely. Uh, wherever you are in the world, you use your iPhone or your Android phone, you control it remotely. It learns from you, so you don't have to program it. Just turn the dial and it learns your habits. And also, we can send you energy reports. So every month we send out an email with, you know, how are you doing, how can you save more, how are you doing against the rest of Nest users, and how much energy are we all saving together. It's something really nice you could do with a connected device that you can't do with a conventional thermostat. And so, um, how much are they? Who is the market more the aftermarket or new construction? If I want to buy one, where do I buy one? So it retails for $249, available at Lowe's, Amazon, Apple, and Best Buy. Uh, uh, and we see actually this is a very broad product. You know, people people are retrofitting, people who are not looking for thermostats are buying them, people who are building new homes are buying them. It's kind of a very broad market now, actually. So how many of you sold? So we, ha we haven't announced numbers, but we're, we're doing very well. And so um, your startup, you've raised, uh, how much capital have you raised today? Uh, we've never announced how much capital we've raised. So have you, as you've sort of, in effect, you've reinvigorated a market that had not seen a lot of innovation in, in quite some time. Have you triggered uh, com competition in this sort of high-end uh, kind of, uh, you know, web 2.0 style uh, thermostat market? So you can say that, you know, there's a lot of companies interested in building connected hardware now. But when it comes down to it, this is actually very difficult to pull off. So we do great hardware, great design, great software, applications, web services. We have all this channel, we, like, you know, working with retailers. It's actually, it takes an entire team to pull this off. It's more than just building hardware. It takes an, you know, an army of great people to, to pull off what Nest is doing. So the last thing I'd ask you is, are there applications for the technology you've developed here, either in the hardware or in the software, and to other kinds of devices, other kinds of experiences where Nest might want to go, either in the home or some other way? I mean, absolutely. When you think about Nest, Nest is about building great design products that are easy to use, intuitive, and solve real problems. I mean, when you apply that formula in other spaces, you can absolutely think of some new things that Nest can be doing. But you're not going to tell us today. Not today. Sometime soon. Well, we'll see you next uh, next to yes, Matt. Uh, thanks very much.